Well, this is the moment we've been waiting for for a very long time. Welcome to the Sharks One Pocket Showdown. My name is Noel Zarate. At ang maglalaban sa araw na ito, no less than the two legends, Francisco Bustamante versus Efren Reyes. Umpisa natin dito kay Django. Itong One Pocket, nakikwento mo sa akin, Django, sikat na sikat itong laro sa ibang bansa. Uh, bakit naging ganun? Bakit naging isa sa mga pinakasikat na laro itong One Pocket? Kasi sa Amerika, ang kaya nagustuhan nito, kasi kada... game, titira ka. So, ikaw magpapanalo, ikaw din magpapatalo. Kaya itong nagustuhan nilang laro. Sa number one to sa Amerika, yung larong one packet. Kaya, tingin ko, aabangan nila lahat ito. Eto ngayon, abang na abang din lahat ng tao. Kalaban mo nga itong kaibigan nating si, si Ka Efren. Ano naman ang mensahe mo dito kay Efren bago tayo pumasok sa laban? Mensahe ko sa iyo, mag-ingat ka. Baka kargahin kita mamaya. <laughs> Okay, champ. Yan ang nabigyan ka na kaagad na ni, ano, ni, ni Django. Pero ano naman ang experience mo rito sa One Packet? Ba't mo nahiligan? Alam mo, nung pumunta ako ng Amerika, 1985, pinagtatalukos ng nine ball ang mga taga ron. Yung pagbalik ko ng 1986, ayaw na nila akong labanan sa nine ball kung hindi One Packet na lang daw. Mm. So, ginawa ko, nag-practice ako ng One Packet. Dito sa ating pa. Uh. Pagdating ko doon, namin sila, pinaglalabanan ko ng... One packet na. Ito palang one packet na to. Ang gusto ng mga tao doon sa Amerika, yung mga medyo may edad na. Aha. Kasi sa nine ball, talo daw sila sa mga pahulugan o sa mga tiran, yung mga ano. Pero sa palaisipan, lamang daw yung mga may edad. Ba? Ang sabi nga. Kaya gusto nila, puro one packet kasi puro move yan eh, hindi uusan. Ah, okay. So, para masasabi mo, lamang ka rin kay Django dito sa laban na to. Hindi, lamang siya sa ubusan sa akin. Kaya lang, siyempre, palaisipan din na ng laban to. Nasa conditioning din ito. Pag, uh, pagdating ng one packet, kaya lang maganda po sa mo eh. Okay, ngayon, nabigyan ka na namin sa akin ni Django. Ano naman masasabi mo rin sa kumpare mo? Uy, siyempre, ito. Eh, pag naglalaro kami lagi nito, dito, eto, kamukha nito. Sa one packet pa kami naglaban dito. Exhibition lang naman to eh. Okay. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, welcome to the Sharks One Pocket Showdown featuring Efren Reyes versus Francisco Bustamante. This is the Sharks One Pocket Showdown Race to 12 two-day event featuring Efren Bata Reyes versus Francisco Django Bustamante. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, yan, simula na po. Oh, I'm supposed to speak in English. I forgot. <laughs> Welcome to the Sharks One Pocket Showdown. We are about to begin this matchup between the two legends, Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante. My name is Noel Zarate. Speaking in straight English for our international audience, and AJ Ong will be speaking in the vernacular to deal with our local audiences as well as our Filipino audiences abroad. That's right. Um, good afternoon, Noel, and sa lahat ng Sharkanatics natin dyan na nanonood sa bahay nila. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Actually, AJ, you and I tried to play one packet yesterday, and that's exactly what the break looked like when we were playing yeah, yesterday. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, well, it's very, very interesting. Yung sinubukan natin na maglaro. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon, sa pro naman, yun ang talagang gusto kong mamparon ngayon. Yeah. <laughs> Papa nila gagawin dun. Well, the left pocket belongs to Efren, and the right pocket belongs to Jago. We'll, we'll see. We'll double check because. Uh, which side do you remember which side Efren uh, broke from? He broke from the right side. So Efren's going to take the left pocket, and the right pocket belongs to Django. And you can see immediately uh, Bustamante does not have any offensive options here. He's going to try to create something. His pocket is on the left side. And we expect to see a lot of this today. A lot of defense to begin the game. And again, the, the object of the game is whoever makes eight balls first in his assigned pocket will win the rack. Yeah, that's right. So now Efren, whose pocket is on the right side of the table, looking to develop a bank shot, and he gets that two-ball <laughs> wow. to drop. So Efren scores first, 
And not only that, he's also developed several offensive options here. You can see the 7-9 plays as a combination. He's also got the 4 ball there. Not all depends on how he prepares for the 15 and the 3. We may be off to an early uh, win here for the man they call the Magician. And he continues to develop more on that side. Notice that he left the 7-9 untouched. Because it serves as a combination? Yeah. But maybe later on. He's already gotten two balls here. So Efren 2-0 for Django. So far, here in rack number one. AJ's trying to figure out exactly <laughs> yeah. what Efren's next shot is. It could be a defensive shot, actually. He can, he can snip this 11 and just um, bring it up table. And for now, he's going to play what appears to be a 315, or he's just going to kick the three ball away and put the 15 near the pocket. So again, Django does not have any early looks here, although that 12 ball looks like it could bank. Efren already with two made balls here in rack number one. Again, the object is to get to eight. And Efren was able to return the three ball into the pile. Yeah, he was trying to carry him the 15 there. Here's what Django's going to do. He's going to try to bank this 15 across to his side or just take it out of the pocket. Oh, he scratches the cue ball. And we have Coach Ramon Mystica yeah. as our referee. That's right. And Efren was taking a barb at Coach Monching, as he's called here. Is the everybody that Coach Monching has taught did not achieve greatness. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Really? <laughs> no, but of course, these, these are old friends. So you notice, when uh, Efren scratched the ball, one of the balls that he put in was placed back in the spot. And... Django now has to take his next shot from behind the head string. And Francisco able to make that combination shot to his side. So he's got one ball made already in this rack. Now the nice thing about this here is that your, your bank shot gets developed in matches like this. Yeah, your bank shots, your combinations. Right. So if you notice right now, he's eyeing that three and the five. These guys could bank. And if you watched our bank shot showdown the last time, although Francisco did not advance to the finals, he did a pretty decent job going up against uh, Dennis Orculio. So what he's going to do is he's going to send more Balls up table so that Efren will have a difficulty bringing them down. Just like that. So Efren now comes to the table. Not quite sure if that one ball can, can bank, but he's going to try something else here, it appears. Okay, so we nababasa ako dito sa mga comments natin, ha? May mga iba nalilito pa. All right. <laughs> well, go, go ahead. Keep, keep asking pangyayari. your questions. Here, here's the deal. Uh, Efren is shooting into only one pocket. That's why this is called the one pocket shot. Look at this shot that he's got on the 11. He was trying to put that in his pocket, which is the right pocket for this rack. And Francisco shooting into the left pocket. Only two pockets are in play. Now Francisco sees this is Efren's pocket. So he's, he's going to do is he's just going to get the 11 ball out of there or even bank it into his pocket just like that. So Francisco Bustamante has taken the lead here in this rack. And not only that, he may have developed some offensive options here. Not quite sure if the eight passes the five, but that could be his next shot. Now you can see his pocket, Francisco's pocket is only the left side, at least for this rack. Look at that. Now he combined <laughs> it for the three. Now Django up three to one. That was like three balls, right? 
Yeah, he made three balls move, three but he's ball up. Combination. But he's up now three to one. And it appears that he may be able to slice in the eight. Into his pocket. There you go. And he's come up nicely for the ten ball, which can also go in now. The 5 and 14 are also there. So by all indications, Janko Bustamante has this rack under control. Yeah, four balls left. 10, the mm. 5, and the 14. Yeah, those are the automatics. Now let's see if he can develop one more. Well, if he can hit the 5 and go into this rail with uh, this, uh, this pile with the 4 and the 6, which he just did. So Francisco now with 6. Two balls away from claiming rack number 1. Four ball will be the last ball. That's exactly true. So Francisco Bustamante, after falling behind early against Efren Reyes, is going to take rack number one. That's right. In our Sharks one pocket showdown. Now coach Ramon Mistica, who is our acting referee for today, also explained the intricacies of the game. And uh -huh. he was telling me earlier that Although there are only six, there are six pockets here. Only two are in play. The f the other four pockets can also be used as strategic, uh, a strategic. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, siguro. No, you can put the ball in. You can actually inside. put the ball in the, inside one of the pockets to make it's position for another ball yeah, for your pocket, and it's just going to come out and be replaced into the spot. So that comes into strategy. Okay. That's not a foul if you shoot it in the side pocket or in the upper corner pocket. So, so here, parang nga para sa yeah. position. Right. Nang, ano, para sa bola. Now Francisco is, is breaking from the right side of the table. That means the opposite pocket is his. So we've mm -hmm. alternated now. So we've now alternated. So Efren is now shooting into the left pocket. And Francisco trying to put as many of the balls to his side of the pocket without giving Efren a shot. Or oh, Efren rather. And here comes Francisco. Now he's got several looks over there to that left side. He wants Efren's balls to get out of there. Like that. <coughs> And again, Francisco is on the right side of the table now. That's his left. That's his pocket. Efren's got the left, the left lower corner pocket now. What are the other questions? This is a one pocket showdown. Ola naman. So may mga iba talagang uh, nalilito pa rin. So yung mga kakatun in lang dito sa atin. Yeah. Medyo nalilito kung ano nangyari. Parang tinatamaan lang yeah. yung bola. <laughs> This is the one pocket showdown. One pocket po yan. So. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. AJ and I have actually experienced playing one pocket yesterday. Here's the bank to the seven. So we have two potential makes on the side for uh, on the side of Django. Now Efren has nothing on his side right now. Not quite sure if this five ball banks. Let's see if he can bank in the five ball. And Efren's gonna try to slow roll the five, and he makes Oof. it. Nice so shot. that is the first here in rack number two going to Efren Reyes. He's got the 13. And he can probably also pop up for the uh, 12 ball coming up next. He's got the 13. 12 ball is in good position to go as well. Let's see if he can develop more. So two, two balls made now for Efren. He can play the four next. Yes, that's true. Mm. But gets in contact with the four ball. <coughs> so did Efren develop another ball? Is he still stuck at three? Yeah, Tramaan Tung Quatro. So he's got four made. And then they. So kanina. Any four hindi pa. Mm -hmm, okay. Three balls. Tinamaan ling cuatro. Right. 
So just so that you're familiar with our scoreboard here, the white digit indicates number of balls made in the rack, and the yellow digit indicates the, the rack won. So Francisco Bustamante won rack number one. We are playing to a race to six today. And then the rest of the six games will be played tomorrow. So marami ditong ano ah, hati-hati sa mga comments sila tungkol dito sa one pocket. Uh -huh. So may mga ibang, yes, okay, one of the best games, ganyan-ganyan. It is. Tapos yeah. yung iba naman, sabi nila, ito yung pinaka <laughs> parang boring daw ng well, game. Yeah, if you're if you're if you like scoring, then this is not the game for you. Yeah. Nine ball, ten ball will be the game for you. But one pocket, as Django said earlier in the interview, is the most popular form of billiards in the United States right now. Listen, there's a lot of high stakes games that Pautakan go on. Pautakan eh. Yeah. Kasi given na yung ano, yung mga pro natin, magaling sa ubusan. Yes. Diba? Given That's na right. meron tayong six and, pockets. And when Efren was, was asked earlier, when I asked Efren earlier, he, when he went to the States in 1985 and he beat everybody in nine ball, the, when he came back in 1986, they didn't want to go up against him in nine ball anymore. Yes, yun nga. So they said, let's just do this game of one pocket. Baka so sakali. Efren, Baka yeah. sakali, diba? Efren studied one pocket and he became a world champion as well. So oh, diba? <laughs> you can't stop this guy. Yeah, that's right. That's why he's called the GOAT. And right now, Francisco Bustamante has control of the table. That's his fourth ball made here in this rack. And by, in, by all indications right here, he could take another rack here from the champ. Binabati tayo ng good evening. Ay, good evening. Good afternoon pala daw, sabi ni Erpat. Aha, Zima Tarsi, George Ong. So, Django now with five, three balls away from taking a two to nothing lead in this race to six for today of course the rest of it will be played tomorrow and he makes enough room for the 11. last two balls now for Django and here's his patented behind the back shot yes and he's got this 15 ball to take a 2-0 lead in this race to six and there you go Francisco Bustamante, all over Efren Reyes so far here. Yeah. And we do have a f our, our sponsors to thank. Of course. In. We would like to thank Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslob, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Kubao, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, De Adista and Limadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City. Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Hard Times, Billiard Planet, and Ropa Commercial in Binondo, Manila. So our referee, Ramon Mistica, a.k.a. Monching Mistica, one of the veterans of this game, and he has taught many of our young professionals the, the ropes and how to get better. And uh, there's Angel, always trying to get everybody better by uh, smiling uh, the whole day. That's right. So F. Reyes now to break. He is now going to have the right pocket. The right side or the left side of your screen. I, 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 forgive me. The left side of your screen will now belong to F. Tries to make a ball on the break, which is rare in one pocket. Django sees this eight ball as a threat. Let's see if he can get it out of there. So Reyes now on the left side, Janko now on the right side. He's going to kick it out. Yeah. Kick it out right there. And bring it back to the pile. Yeah. <laughs> so geto mga kaibigan, talagang posibleng tumagal. Well, yes. actually, itong mga nakaraang na racks natin, medyo mm -hmm. napabilis. Th that's diba? fast because this is just an exhibition match. And Efren was already telling me this is an exhibition match, so we're just going to enjoy it. But this is also like an educational tool to everybody. Look at the way he plays this one ball. Look at that. <laughs> Parang may magic, no? That's, Kita mo yun? That's a magic. How, Kita do mo yun? You, how do you put spin on the object ball? Kita mo yun? <laughs> it was going straight. I, th I thought it, it wasn't going to go in. Yeah, but he put spin on the object yeah. ball. <laughs> that's, very, that's, very crafty. That's the magician for you. And then he combines for the six. It looks like Efren um, doesn't want to be left behind here by Django. He does have a shot on the two right now. So 2-0 here in rack number three for Efren. Let's see if he can develop the other balls inside. He's putting a lot of left spin on this. Making the 2. Does he see the 9? Yes, he does. He might even see the 12 as well. Mm, not sure about the 12. Maybe the 9. 
Yeah, he's came gonna up, cut the nine. Yeah, came up short here on the twelve. But again, by playing the nine, he can run into the pile now. If he puts a lot of left or right spin on the ball, he just, just ran like into the that. pile. There you go, four mm -hmm. straight now for Efren. However, he didn't hit the pile hard enough. So dito lalabas yung ano depends muna, yeah, diba? yeah. Make sure he has to get the balls away from the right side of the table, which is Django's pocket. And good afternoon kay Anito Kid Mapugay to Edward Hoffman. Oh, Edward, you're still up. Yeah. So here we are. This is what Edward was waiting for the whole week. Now, Efren's got a... He's in a pickle right here. He, he can't... Well, is he going to take an intentional foul? He is taking an intentional foul. All right, guys. Now, this is part of the strategy here. You can see referee Monching Mystica is bringing out one of the balls that Efren made and respotting it. So Efren's now down to three balls made in this rack. Oh, may katanungan tayo dito galing kay RV Alfaro. Gusto niya malaman kung paano kung set na. Paano malalaman? Wh whoever makes eight balls first. Yon. You eight balls kung yeah. sa designated pocket nila yeah. will win. Yeah. You can see from our from our score right now, uh -oh. the the rack count is determined by the yellow digit. The yellow digit is number of racks won. So Francisco is leading in this match two racks to nothing, but Efren has made three balls already in this rack minus the one that he fouled on. So he's got three uh, balls made in this rack now. Francisco, he's got a situation here where Efren's going to force him to put one of the balls or at least at least one of the balls to the left side unless he comes up with something probably like snip the 14 and send the cue ball up table which is i think what he's going to do right now he's just going to snip this 14 ball and bring the cue ball up table so that being a legal shot because the 14 hit a rail and now efren's got a try to do something here. I'm not quite sure if Efren can cross back the 14. We've seen him do this before. It doesn't pass. But he is going to take that 14 out of there by hook or by crook. Because that is an advantage mm -hmm. ball for Django. So yeah. He drags the 14 up table as well. Now Django appears to have a shot on the 8. Yeah, Django appears to have, from this angle, he appears to have a shot on the 8 and probably even mess up the table. But it appears that he's going to try to bank the 14. He, br he banks the 14, but it hits the pile. So he's still scoreless here. And see if Efren can snip the 7 into his pocket. Again, this is one pocket, guys. This is one of the I would say the chess of billiards. Yes, that's right. So, mi mga ibang hindi talaga naka appreciate ng Yes, to. yes, yes. And sometimes it grows on you. Oh, naman. Ako, feeling ko, parang nag grow ng asa. Yeah, no, remember, guys, AJ, my partner over here, is uh, exclusively a nine ball, ten ball player. But yesterday when I said, all right, let's practice one pocket, we played one pocket. He, he you caught him thinking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do next? How am I going to. Yeah, avoid you need to that? plan. Yeah. Yeah. That's a legal shot again for Francisco. He's leaving Efren with no offensive options. And I have a feeling rack number three, unless somebody actually runs into the pile, it's going to take a while. Thank you very much, uh, RJ Silverio. Sabi niya, maraming salamat sa stream. Staying up late here in the U.S., in Arizona. Yeah, and it, this is a very, very popular game in the United States. And Efren just made, took a bar bet at this game actually earlier by saying, you know, the older you are, the, the older you are in terms of age, the better you are at this game. <laughs> in one pocket. So then I, I, then I asked him, so you have an advantage over Django. Not really. Because it's a game of patience. Yeah. Of course, you can go to the billiard and you can see that there's a one pocket. Yeah, but you know what? The, <laughs> the guys who are excelling at this are guys like Joshua Filler, uh, the young guys from uh, on, on tour. Uh, in fact, Dennis Orculio is actually pretty good at the one pocket yes. game as well. Yes. Ano pang practice kasi kasi na ano eh, ng discarte. Right. Diba? And Dennis Orculio actually credited his knowledge of one pocket for being the world bank shot champion, because mm. this exercises your bank shot or the Derby City bank shot champion. Kaya tumi ba siya sa bank? Yes. This exercises your banking ability as well. 
So Francisco's got nothing going to his pocket, so he's going to send the 14 ball back into the pile and deny Efren any offensive options. From Edward Hoffman, one pocket and three cushion will help your rotation games. Exactly, three cushion, which is Efren's specialty game. Yeah. That's where Efren really put himself on the map. He's, a, he's one of the best three cushion players in the world, if not the best three cushion player in the world. This, that's why Efren is so in love with this game because it puts all of his strengths to work. So Efren now is going to try to send the cue ball up table by sending the three into the pile. He's just going to send the cue ball back into the pile. How about that, Django? And I'm telling you, rack number three, this is going to take a while. This is what it normally looks like because racks one and two, it looked like an offensive festival for, for Django. <coughs> This is what one pocket usually feels like. And we study the options here. So Django can actually send the eight ball up table as well and keep the cue ball where it is right now. Just like that. And if he had made that ball, that ball would just be respotted. It's not a foul. Yeah. So notice that Efren right now is eyeing the eight ball. Oh, he's just going to loosen up the pile a bit and still not give Django any offensive option here. Although I think the five ball is loose. The five. The five might be loose enough. To bank. To bank. Yeah, put it in. Yeah. yeah, the five is loose enough. Django does bank in the five. Nicely done. And now he's put the cue ball facing his side of the pocket right now. Let's see if he can attack this one ball. If it passes the third, uh, the fourth, the fifteen, that would be his next offensive option if he chooses to play offense. But he's going to try to play some defensive game here by putting the cue ball back into the pile. Yung mga PNP boys natin naka stealth mood daw sa mini Robin. But but Cass and, and Angel are here. What are you talking yeah. about, guys? <laughs> eh, Timing muna sila. Yeah. Mamaya na lang daw mababawi. <laughs> yeah, save your energy for tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Use the restroom now. <laughs> And shout out to you know, Regan Ubaldo yeah. from Darwin, Australia. Yeah, I, I don't know if One Pocket's a big game over in, in Australia. But it, it's sweeping the world. I mean, Efren said as early as 1986, they were asking him already. To, they were challenging him to One Pocket, which he didn't know anything about. So he studied it. Yeah. I believe that's a foul by Django. It is a foul. He didn't hit any balls, so he's going to be back to zero. As the ball he made is respotted. Efren still at three. Needs five balls to claim his first victory in this match. See what, he, what else he can develop right now. There's actually nothing that can be developed here. And if he sends the cue ball up table, Django's going to see the 14. So Efren would like to keep the cue ball at this side of the table. He plays a legal shot again. Again, Django is shooting into the right pocket, as you see on your scoreboards. There is no offensive option at the moment. Unless he can do something with his 14 ball. He's not going to touch it, though, at the moment, so... That's a good reply. Is he forcing Efren to play the three ball as a bank shot? Because if he forces Efren to do that, the pile could widen. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. Kaso nga lang, mukhang tatama dito sa uno. Baka sa G's pa nga. So he just get rid of the 14 ball 
which is something that Efren might have wanted to do earlier so that the threat of Django's side is diffused. But that is a foul once again. So Efren sacrificed because that did not hit a rail coming off the bank. So Monching Mystica, our referee, respots one of the balls that Efren made. So Efren's down to two made in this rack. Now there's a possibility that you can go negative here in this rack. You know, you make a bank shot without ma or make a bad shot without uh, having any ball spotted. You could go minus one. I've seen matches that had guys go to minus five already. <laughs> Django is just gonna tell Efren, "All right, I'm gonna put another ball in my side. Start thinking what you're gonna do next." And Efren can't touch the ten now because of where Django put it. Or can he? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Back to my side. To. Back to my side. Efren's got the positional advantage in this rack. Now Django has a shot at the 14. Parang feeling ko, dudugo ilong ko dito. Pag ito'y locking niya laro ko. We played this for about, what, an hour yesterday? An hour, yeah. yeah. Just to get the feel of the game. Yeah. So Django, the, the 14 is available, that's for sure. The thing is, will he take it on? What is the benefit of taking on the 14 ball? And you notice where Efren put the cue ball. He's right, put it up table really near the rail to give Django a difficult um, cue action after uh, connecting with the 14, if Django chooses to take on the 14 ball. That's what's being given to him. In Filipino, we may call this shot a pain shot, meaning he's <laughs> being given this shot because he knows that something bad is going to come out of it. Yeah, he's going to use it as bait. Yeah. <laughs> and these two guys, boy, they've known each other for decades. They've played this game. In fact, the first time I ever did a one pocket event was in 2015. And featuring these two guys, it was a race to three, and it took us about five hours <laughs> <laughs> almost five hours. There it is, the 14 ball on offense. It's not going to make it, and Efren's just going to knock this 14 out of there. Yeah, he's studying his offensive options, but Efren has to get that 14 ball out of there. It's too near the pocket. I wouldn't even be surprised if Efren banks the 14 to his side. <laughs> Because Janko didn't put it near enough in the pocket. So Efren might actually steal this 14 ball. But that is the object ball now for Efren. Get the 14 out of there, either offensively or defensively. Is everybody still following? <laughs> yeah, of course. Halo halo dito, may mga tagabibang bansa, siempre. Is he going to back the 14 or is he just going to knock it out of there? He's just going to knock it out of there. At the Ooh. same time, play the 12 ball. Wow. Nicely done. So Efren now back up to three here in this rack. And we'd like to give a big shout out to Mr. Hadley Mariano. So it looks like Efren does have the control here. The control of the, the table and also the balls to finish off Django in this rack. He's up to four now. So mga kaibigan, ganyan talaga yan. Kaya, di mo, di ba parang kanina, ano, tago-tagoan muna. Yeah. Kasi one mistake lang na yes. tulad na ito, yeah. isang bola lang na pwedeng paikutin yung bola kung mm -hmm. saan-saan. Tapos na kagad ang laban. Yeah. And Django missed out the 14. If he had made the 14, that would have been it. He could have been able to freeze Efren again. But now Efren's up to five. Three balls needed. There are three balls available. The three, the nine, and the eight. Although the eight looks hooked, that's what Efren's saying. He's so he may have to attack one of the tied up balls here, like the eleven. Lost position on the three though. Unless he can bank the five. Efren at six, two balls away. If he can bank the five, he'll have good position on the three, and that's gonna be it. He's gonna bank the five. 
Look at the speed. Look at the speed. <laughs> Ridiculous, <laughs> man. The speed. He almost made it, but look at yeah. that. Right? And, and Django can't take it out of there either because he's being blocked yeah, by the pile. That's right. Yeah. So what's going to happen here now is Django. He can't get it out of there. So he has to attack something. Maybe the 14 ball backs, but he's going to be bridging really weird. He can't get to the 15. Yeah, Efren's won every aspect of this rack so far. Django cannot afford to make a mistake anymore because Efren's two balls away. And many balls can be passed here. Oh, yeah. I mean, Everett's got the five in for sure. He could actually choose between the three and the four for his final ball. Janko's going to be bridging funny if he tries to hit the 14. From Anito Kid, Mapuga, he said Everett played against and learned the rudiments of one pocket with the beard. Mm -hmm. Freddy Bentivegna. Uh-huh. So Django tried to do something, and you see he potted the, the three ball in the upper corner. It's, it's not a foul. He's just being respotted. So Efren's got two balls left. Five and this Whatever he wants. <laughs> Five and whatever he wants. Yeah. In this case, the sixth ball. Yeah. For win number one, Efren Reyes. There we go. So Efren is on the board now. Win number one here against Francisco Bustamante in our race to six for day one. Of course, day two will be also a race to six. This is a race to 12. We are doing our best. Sharks, the Sharks community, uh, the Sharks and um, Bugsy Promotions, along with Puyat Sports, of course, are doing our best to educate everybody about the new forms of, uh, not really the new forms, the unpopular forms of the game or the not so popular forms. Remember, we had a bank shot uh, contest the other day. And yeah. for our international audiences, we educated them on the rotation uh, game, which is something that is indigenous, not yeah. really indigenous, but more popular in the Philippines, perhaps, than anywhere else in the world, except probably for Russia. Mm -hmm. And today, we are doing what is probably the most popular game in the in United the US, States, yeah. which is One Pocket. So this is just a great learning tool brought to us by Bugsy Promotions, by Sharks, and of course, thank you to Puyat Sports for uh, helping us in this event. So now Django Bustamante is going to be shooting into the right pocket because he's breaking from the left side. So Django is still on the right side now and Efren is still on the left side here in rack number four. Okay, so kitang kita tong tres. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not Efren's pocket. <laughs> Ay, hindi pala. So, baliktad. Pati ako, nalilito. Yeah. Wherever you okay. break. Yeah. Kung it was Django na. breaking from the right side, right? Okay. So, he takes the, the, the right the pocket. Oh, the left side. He's taking the right pocket yeah. now. Pa diagonal. Yes. Ah, diba? That's what dictates this. Kala ko kanina, kung yun yung pocket ni Efren, tapos na yun. No, no. Diba? no. That's, why, that's why Django put that three ball there. So, Efren... Has to play defense uh, first. Kaya nga, kung sakaling ganun yung, ano, yeah. yung nangyari, benta na kagad yung mm -hmm. posibleng tapos na kagad yung laban. Django might have a combination shot here from the 14-13. Pwede. Mukhang one ball at uh, No, no, no. But he's, uh, 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 he's potting on the right side. It's Efren who has that later yung on. Yung pocket na yan. Yeah. yeah. So nothing banks here for Django. He just decided to put more balls on his side just in case later on. Still leaves no shot for Efren. Efren can't bank anything in. Or can he? Mm, Efren's sending a lot of balls over to his side now. Yeah. <laughs> Konting baon, siyempre.
sa comments talaga hati pa rin eh so may mga ibang taga ibang bansa mm-hmm. na na gets nila yeah. iilan lang naman din dito iilan lang ah na nakakaintindi rin pero mostly talagang ha, ano ba yan <laughs> yeah. well, again you have to understand that when we feature the rotation when we feature the rotation showdown here in Sharks it baffled the uh, the foreign viewers because what the heck is rotation and they finally got it so now we're trying to give the one pocket to our Filipino audience because if you didn't know that these uh, our Filipino players are some of the best one pocket players in the world mm-hmm. Efren can't bank. Well, I don't know if he can snip in the four. Probably Efren can roll in the four here and, and just create more shots from running into the pile. So this four ball is going to go on the ledger of Efren. There you go. Nicely done. So the pile has widened up, but the nine does not pass the seven. And Django's got the eight ball right there in his pocket. So what Efren can do is actually take the eight ball out of here. Oh, it looks like he found an offensive shot. It's a two-seven combination. There it is, two-seven combination. He's got to follow this up with a, a nine-two combination. But the thing is, he's still lacking a few more offensive options because Django does have that eight ball already there. So Efren's going to continue attacking here. Oh, he's going to play the 14-10 combination, just like that. That brings Efren's ball count now to three. That's it. He can finish off at this point. Yes, he can because the 15, the 12, the 14, the two, they're all available now. From Dennis Nassar, Efren played Buddy Hall in the Legends of wow. One Pocket World wow. Championship. Yeah. Buddy Hall, huh? Two years in a row. Yeah. Playing Buddy Hall. Buddy beat him yeah. both years. Yeah. Four one. In the finals. Yeah. yeah. Both years. Becoming world one pocket champion twice. Right. Ooh, Efren almost scratched there. He's up to five. He's going to have to play this 11-2 combination. Well, at least he got the eight ball out of there, but yeah, this is the only shot he's got now. It's an 11-2 combination. From Chris Cap, I think that scorecard girl is digging me. <laughs> digging you? <laughs> Fall in line, sir. <laughs> Efren's up to five. He's got at least two balls left that are visible. Let's see if he can develop the 14 ball as well. Yeah, Efren's hesitating on this shot. And he's smiling too. If he misses, Django's going to win this because Django's got all those balls on his side already. Uh, he's not playing... Oh yeah, he's playing the 11 rail first, and he did miss. However, did not leave a shot here for Django. Yeah. Django's got nothing. He can't bank anything in. He's going to have to make sure that he plays some form of defense, but Efren's got, again, a bunch of balls already on his side. So Django's thinking, how is he going to get the two ball out of there? and leave Efren with no shot. Probably use the... Well he's going to use the 14 ball, it appears. That's what you call giving Efren no shot. Nicely done. Hello from Eric Peñaranda, galing sa ano, Paris. Oh. Is this is one pocket of popular sport in, in France? 
Jeffrey gonna do here? He's gonna send the cue ball underneath the eight and tie up one of the, the balls here for Janko. The five and the nine are now together. This is getting diff more, more and more difficult for Bustamante at this point. He's going to knock the two out of the pocket from Efren. He better be careful because it could scratch. Or he could foul if he misses the two ball completely. Oh, look at this. He just brought the two ball back to his side. Almost made it. However, that mm -hmm. cue ball is going to stay up. <laughs> That's a lucky break that. for Francisco Bustamante. Half the cue ball yeah. is on the pocket. Let's see if Efren can attack the three ball from here and still hold position for the 11 and the 14. Those are the only balls now he needs to think about. Missed the three badly. Believe it or not, Janko still doesn't have an offensive option unless he can see enough of this 13 ball. If he can see enough of this 13 ball to pot, he might be able to hold position for the next couple of balls. The 5 9 is not on unless he probably uses the 8. See, this is the beauty of one pocket. You have so many options that you need to think about. Yeah, from this angle, looks like he can hit the 13. And it does pass the 8. Now oh, he's going to try to manufacture something here with a 3 or the 14. He's trying to try to manufacture the 14. That was a <laughs> very smart shot. He just didn't make it. Efren at five, needing three balls to win this rack. Dito mo makita yung klase ng dunong. Yes. Na meron silang dalawa. I think Efren can back the eight. Hmm. Do you think Efren can back the eight? He's looking at it right now. It does. It banks. Yeah. Or oh, he's gonna play some defense here on Django. Yeah. Ooh, this is vicious. Yeah, no, this is vicious. Dyan. Where are you gonna go from there? Django zero here in rack number four. And he's going to play an intentional foul. Did the 14 move? No. And there's the marker now. So minus one for Francisco here in rack four. There's the marker. It's the, the chalk was placed there by our referee. See that? There's a chalk right there. That's the marker now that Francisco owes a ball. And Efren, that's a legal shot again. Does not leave anything for Francisco. There was one match I saw Dennis Arculio go for a three-rail bank. <laughs> three-rail bank. Three-rail bank. <laughs> it, it mystified his opponent. Oh, this is going to sell out, though. Or Django is forcing Efren to take a very long shot at the three. Actually, if you look at it, Efren's also got the 13.
So is it either the 3 or the 13 on offense, at least, that's available for Efren. Then the 11 ball is too near the side pocket for any offensive option from that angle. So it looks like Efren's taking on the 3 ball. Can't get it in. Oh, and Francisco's got a shot on the two. He was prepping for the five next. Mm -hmm. so, nga pumasok tong tres. Yeah, Francisco's got the two ball and he could open up his side. He's opened up his side now. Eight ball is next. Oh, of course, that is the... That was his... Um, the ball he owed, so he's back to zero now. There it is. Francisco now with one. And not only that, he might be able to steal the rack now from Efren. Everything's opened up. He's got the five, the one. If he can develop the 13, 14. Still lacking, though. Ito, from Bain Mendoza. Yes, one pocket yeah. in Pinas. Finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I, I think this is going to... We're going to learn so much from these guys that it could be a trend already here. So, Francisco avoided hitting the one. He's now on the 13, and it's easier from this side now. So, Bustamante now. He is in trouble. Mm. He lang. is in trouble. He's going to have to play the 9 to, to the 14. He's in trouble now. One mistake. Efren needs only three more balls. Yeah. That's the only shot he's got. 9-14 combination. And it's very difficult. Well, it's risky to hit the 14, to kick the 14. No, he can't it might kick sell it. Out He's going to have to play the 9-14. That's his only shot. Yeah. Just when everything looked to be on a roll for Francisco Bustamante. He runs into this. And these guys are lucky that they don't have a shot clock. In Derby City, they have a shot clock for one pocket. A one-minute shot clock. Francisco wow, gets it to go. That. Does he lose position on the cue ball? No, he does not. He can see the nine. That is just a lot of experience for you there. A lot of guts as well. But he's in the clear. A hard combination shot yeah. with the bridge. Yeah. So he's got, he needs uh, four balls. He's going to need either that 11 or that, f or, or that three. The three is the easier of the two. So is it six? It looks like he's going to bank the six in. Probably hold position. Oh, he's going to go. What is this? Two rails for the three. Or. Okay, he's going to. Mm. Uh, yeah. There's the ball that he owed earlier. So Efren can't attack the 11 because he's going to scratch. So he's going to try to get some of those balls back to his side.
Is Francisco thinking about cross banking the nine? <laughs> That'll be crazy. Is it the nine? Sorry, it's a thirteen ball. He is gonna cross bank the thirteen. There it is. Oh, he attacked it. From this angle, can Efren make the, the six. eleven? Or the six, perhaps? Yeah, the six, yes, but he still needs three balls total. Francisco only needs two. So that eleven ball is gonna have to be played in one way or one way or another. And he's doing the 11 right now. Just needs to play this a little bit forward so it won't scratch. Missed mm. it again. Yeah. And that brings it to the side of Francisco. And Django needs only two more. That was not an easy shot that Efren took because there was a big scratch looming for him there. So Francisco is going to use the six ball as his last ball. Wow, and he steals a rack from Efren. Efren was in complete control of rack four. This is now a 3-1 count. Francisco Bustamante now leading 3-1 here in this race to six day one. That was a very, very interesting rack. They're going to take yeah, a... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're going to take a short break here, but... Efren missed a few shots that he normally makes, by the way. Yun na nga. Uh, importante rin sa kanya yung kanina. Yeah. Kung nagawa niya yung... The 11, the 11 yeah, ball? He would have won that. Yeah, he yeah. would have won that. Could have been 2-2, pero yun na nga, 3-1. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do have our sponsors to thank. Of course, Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Kicks by V, V Lugaw, Ang Lugaw ng Kubaw, Kikarex Kayanong, na target on air sa TZME 1530 kilohertz. Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, all about the process. Dehadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City. Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layered Tips, Billiard Planet, Hard Times, and Ropa Commercial. This break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Times Sports Bar. So Efren now taking the left pocket. Francisco now taking the right pocket. From Kevin Burris, thank you both, not just for blessing us with this match, but many years you have given us of great pool. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, the two of them, they deserve all your praises, Francisco and Efren. We are so lucky that even in this generation, th this generation still gets to watch these two legends at work. Now, Francisco is just going to tie something up. He's giving Efren no shot here on his, uh, on his side, although maybe Efren can manufacture this 15 ball as a bank shot, or this 10 ball, rather, as a bank shot. <coughs> That's the only thing open. Or is he going to be patient? He's going to put the two ball closer to his pocket. Django sees that the two ball is a threat. He's backing the 13. Oh. Well, he gives Efren a point. <laughs> that, bo that will go into the ledger of Efren. Efren's got the 13. If he plays it right, he's got the one ball. No, <laughs> stayed up for a while. He's got the six ball now. The effort could make short work of this rack right now if he opens this one up. Django was trying to get that two ball out of there. He was surprised when he made it. There 
it is. Oh, Efren's just scattered everything now in his direction. This should be yeah, a short rack. That's right. Pwede na matapos dito. Yeah, he's gonna play a 12-9 combination and hold everything else for there. Oh, but he missed it, though. Uh -huh. Oh, he's giving Francisco a bunch of balls to hit. Yeah. Ooh, wow. See, isang pagkakamali lang. This could be a <laughs> massive mistake for the, for, the, for the magician. Diba? Isang wow. pagkakamali lang talaga. How many balls does Francisco have in this area right now? He's got at least five. Yeah. If he sees the seven, that's six balls right there. He could work his way around. He's actually going for the seven next already, just to be sure. Wow, massive mistake there for Efren. Yeah, the seven solves many problems if Francisco takes it on now. And he decided to leave it for later. That's his cherry on top of his Sunday here. He actually made a ball into Efren's pocket. And now he's gifted with this layout. Probably play the three next and then hold position. Uh, a little bit of inside for the 11 ball. That's why I was thinking if he played the seven first, it solves a lot of uh, solves a lot of problems. But he's he's still okay. Now hold for the 11. Brings his total up to now to three. We come up for the seven ball next. Probably even the 10. Now he's playing the 7. So he wanted this angle for the 7, not the straight in one earlier. You can see uh, the 7 is unobstructed. He runs into the 14 ball. Might even make the 4. Yeah, well, that's Efren's pocket though. Yeah. There, he knocked it out. And this is going to be Francisco Bustamante running away with this rack. There are no more problems here. He's going to play this inside to get the 15. Needs two more balls. And he's going to pop back up, probably get the 10 ball. There it is. Boy, one mistake from Efren. Very costly. Yeah. This is going to be a 4-1 lead now. And you can do it. You can do your safe to say. <laughs> <laughs> so Francisco Bustamante. <laughs> able to get it done. So now leading four racks to one. Two wins away. Yeah, two wins away from ending hostilities here in day number one and this will be a very early break for us but again you can't count out Efren yeah of course but again oh, that, pa siya. but that combination shot that's that's Efrenable of course <laughs> it is Efren, it is Efren makes that like 9 out of 10 times even perhaps 10 out of 10 times but he missed it that time and that mistake opened up the entire side for Django amazing well, again, yes, you said, AJ, one mistake in one pocket, that could cost you the yes, whole rack. that's right. So, kamusta naman kayo dyan? Mga Shark Kinetics. Francisco now is moving to the right side of the table now. He's breaking. This break brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. Wala so, na ako nababasa ang mga ano ah. Mga Tagalog comments dito. It's all English? That's <laughs> great. That's <laughs> sila, great. Sila na lang nag -uusap. Yeah. So Efren now on the right side of the table. Oh, Django now on the right side of the table. Efren on the left side of the table. He's going to try to manufacture something. Wow, look at that back shot by, by the legend right there. And he's smiling because that, that must have felt good. He let that last rack slip away. In fact, he let two racks slip away already. Yeah. Well, definitely, he's got this 13 ball. He just needs to develop the next one. It's not necessarily straight, so he can actually probably play this off two rails and get to the six. And 
He chooses to draw and get attack the 14 next. And he can open up the, uh, the table now by bouncing from the 14 into the pile. Avoids the pile. Looks like he's content with what he sees. Three ball, six ball, perhaps even the 10 ball, or the 12 ball rather. He's going to draw from the six. He's made three already in this rack. There's your draw. Still sees enough of the three. And then he needs to develop his next shot. Nice to have you with us. How many people are watching today? 612. Yeah. Good afternoon. So Efren's got the three. What does he develop next, though? There it is. Three. He Point develops the... the <laughs> I everything. Yeah, he develops everything. You're right. That, that I believe, is the ten ball... from this layout it, it is safe to say oops not quite mr safe to say mm -hmm. bumped into the eight so you hit efren with your safe to say i think it was late <laughs> late <laughs> <laughs> the moment he struck it this is safe to say bang <laughs> then he runs into this <laughs> to the eight wow aj has just put his curse <laughs> on the greatest of all time <laughs> Nako, sabi ni Anito Kid, mapugay, efrenable. He said safe to say. <laughs> efrenable kanina, kaso nga lang, na safe to say. Oh, he's got to play defense now. Do something. Yeah. Nako. Oh, no, he's going to sell, sell this out. out to Francisco, yeah, though. sell out. Oh, Francisco might steal another rack. But this one's coming off a of safe to say, so we're going to put an asterisk on that for Efren. <laughs> it wasn't entirely his fault this time. <laughs> For our international viewers, if AJ Ong, oh my, my partner gosh, here, is that's <laughs> safe to say, the curse. <laughs> if AJ Ong says something about safe to say, something happens to the rack. And oh it usually doesn't man. affect the pros. He's done it twice to Francisco in a 10 ball competition. And he actually, Efren, this is his third appearance here. Efren has never been hit by the safe to say until today. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, man. You're amazing, AJ Ong. <laughs> I really thought that, you know, Efren would be immune because he is the greatest of all time. Would be immune to your safe to say <laughs> plague. Uh, yeah. The Francisco plague is back. <laughs> Francisco is now rolling here in this rack. And good afternoon to you, Don Vager. Hope we got your name right, sir. Yeah. Uh, Francisco now, two balls away. Now here's, here's the key shot. Because he needs to land on one of these guys. Ooh, this is a scary shot, but makeable on the eight. For the hill. For today. Safe to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, safe to say. You know, will not work anymore. <laughs> five one five, lead. Yeah. Five wins. And three racks that Efren should have easily won. Well, two of them Efren wasn't able to deliver. The last one was on a safe to say. <laughs> so <laughs> one rack away. Yeah, one rack Django away. For bending hostilities Bustamante. here. 
in day number one. That that's Cassie, by the way. Angel had the the first crack at the board earlier. No, because you know what, rack three was an indication of how it normally should have been should played. Should have been played. Yeah. yeah and Efren won. Right. Efren won rack three, right? Mm -hmm. But since then, there's been a series of unfortunate rolls for Efren. Uh, a combination shot that he should have made and then that the uh, preparation shot that he should have made uh, then there was one that he just missed missed something and left it for Django so it's actually just three racks that could have gone either way could have gone Efren's way but Django stole three consecutive racks now and Efren's deciding I'm gonna shift to the left side now of the pocket so, yeah he's moved to the left now so left side left pocket belongs to Efren right side now belongs to Francisco Five one lead. Balik na naman sa umpisa. Yeah. He was he was muna sa mga butas. <laughs> Look at this kick shot by uh -oh, Efren. Oh, but the cue ball. Well, he owes Francisco now a ball. That's minus one now for Efren. And it will be ball in hand for Francisco from behind the head string. So Efren Reyes minus one in this rack. So meron siyang tinitingnan dito sa pile na pwedeng pumasok sana, di ba? Kaso nga lang parang wala. Yeah, he's kind of far. And look at Efren. There's probably a reason why he made that foul. Janko might... He's just going to get that six ball out of there. Oh. He puts it into Efren's pocket. He did this in the last rack. So Efren owes nothing again. It's back to zero for Efren. No, <laughs> Efren's trying to pull a fast one here. <laughs> He's trying to pull a fast one on Ramon Mystica saying, hey, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, but you owe something. Oh, I do? <laughs> <laughs> so Efren's back to zero. And Efren goes into the pile once again, sending more of his balls. He sending more balls to his side. And Francisco can't attack because of the way he's going to have to bridge over everything here. So he's going to try to just poke at that two ball. All right. That's a good result. In case you're just joining us, I know we're just about an hour in, but Francisco Bustamante has already taken a 5-1 lead here in day one action and he's on the hill for day one we will play a race to six today and then another race to six tomorrow starting 3 p.m philippine time once again yeah yeah so guys thank you again for joining us my name is noel zarate doing the english commentary aj ong mr safe to say himself <laughs> is uh, doing the vernacular <laughs> that's another foul by efren so he's going to be back at minus one. He has nothing potted. So again, Ramon Mystica, our referee, puts a marker on the side of Efren. So Efren back to minus one in this rack. Look at this. It's like a... This is like a drill if you're doing nine ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta shoot the four into the corner, the three into the side, seven into the corner. This is like a drill. This is a pocketing drill. Look at this. It's like the letter U. <laughs> <laughs> and Efren. Uh, this is this is well. This is the way it really looks like. Let's see if Django. It's going to put more hurt into Efren's world now. Well, they're really just running into the pile right now. And Django's got a bunch of them on his side. Efren has nothing to attack at this point. 
<laughs> si Reginald Cabato sabi niya mukhang matatapos bago mag alas 5 mga sir under 5pm <laughs> yeah okay Mr. Cabato you were absent last night <laughs> <laughs> absent nga siya last night I don't know I don't see any anything that Efren can do to salvage what's on the side of Django right now Let's see if Django can attack the six ball. Efren still owes a ball here in this rack. Oh, well, Django's going into the pile again. This is a one mistake from Efren already at this point. There are four possible candidates for pots there on the side, or maybe even five on the side of Django. This is a one mistake by Efren. Django's going to take over. And Efren Ooh. says, all right, let's send some my way. Almost made the yeah, four. Yeah, almost made the four. I don't think Django can get that out of there, but he now has a shot at the eight. From Christian Joseph, guess what? I have a team here. <laughs> In Sydney, and our our team's name is safe to say. Are you serious? <laughs> you you might not be winning a lot of games, are you? And the bakas sila nga yung manhalo dahil nga the safe to say mga ibang tao. The safe to say curse here by AJ Ong in the Philippines is is uncanny. Francisco did not shoot the eight ball oh, in, it, and he left up. the two ball. This is going to change fortunes now because Efren's got any form of combination for the four. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just saying it in conversation. You know, it's such a big, plaguey <laughs> phrase, that thing that AJ says. That's why Django missed that two ball. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so Efren now, any combination on the four, and he's rolling. So he doesn't owe anything anymore. He's back to zero. Back to zero. Eight balls. And you notice that Ramon Mystic, our referee, did not respot the ball. He's going to respot it at the end of Efren's turn. So Efren now at one. Shot at the 11. He's going to try to draw back and get something going. He's not going to make it, though, but I think he can still see the 13. Draws back just enough for the 15 now. And by all indications, that one mistake by Django is going to cost him. Let's see if Efren can put the rest of the balls that are down here at least into his ledger. Comes up a bit short here for the five, but he's still okay. Say hi to, is that Mr. Raji Patalinghug? Yeah. He just came in. Mr. Joy Renting is also in the building. Some of our Sharks players try to learn as much as they can from these two legends. Efra needs two to go. Where's that last ball coming from? That's it. No, he's going to back the last one. He still needs one more. Back on the oh, eight. Chupa. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No way. Pero kung tinila niya kanina, parang sure ball na yun. Yeah. Wow, Francisco now. Mm -hmm. Needs six, uh, needs seven balls. And how many are left on the table? Seven balls. He needs to clear this. But the eight ball is in Efren's ledger. It's in the Efren's pocket right now. He's going to have to think of how he's going to extract that. How are we going to finish this? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Francisco just came up short. Uh -huh. 
Tamaan he can still play the three as a bank shot. Oh, and he missed it. Okay. And Efren's going to steal this. <coughs> or is Efren's going to survive this? And I say this is for this is for his second win. There you go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that, we, here's something we should never say safe to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Django's gonna take a breather right now as Efren saying, "I need to work on my bank shot." <laughs> One of the greatest of all time says he needs to work on his bank shot. At the yeah. score, not in. Five games to two in favor of Django Bustamante. And to magandang hapon ki John Lee Legaspi, ki uh, Ronel Loyola, ki John Wick Reyes, John Ray Morales, and ki Christian Joseph. Well, good afternoon to you guys from the Philippines. We hope you're enjoying uh, the Sharks presentation of the One Ball Showdown, something that may not be um, what is this? May not be something that mo most Filipinos know about. They probably heard about it before. And we're on a timeout, so we're going to take the short break. All right, back with us here in our continuing coverage of the Sharks' one-pocket showdown between the two legends, Francisco Bustamante and Efren Reyes. Now, Francisco's taking the right side of the table, and Efren's taking the left side of the table. For, for those who have just joined us, we are coming off a timeout. Francisco Bustamante now leading 5-2 to two in this race to 6 here for day 1. This is a race to 12. So we will continue the next six racks tomorrow. My name is Noel Zarate, alongside AJ Ong. And uh, Efren, who owns the left pocket now. Gonna leave nothing easy here for Django. So how are you guys doing out there in Cyberland? in social media land. Again, for those Filipinos who are tuning in right now and are wondering what they're watching, this is the One Pocket Showdown. So this game of One Pocket, very popular in the United States, very popular in, in many areas of the world. In the Philippines, could still be in the infancy, at least for the billiards aficionados. We have Hans Paolo Lustre. Sabi niya, si Maestro Monching ba yung naririnig namin? Yes, you can hear it. The un right. unmistakable voice of yes. Monching Mystica. Ramon Mystica. Parang gusto ko magpa-coach sa kanya. Right. Diba? Ilan kaya yung mga estudyante niya? Uh, I'm sure most of the youngsters sa have hard gone. times, yun. Nagaano siya sa hard times. Yeah. Tuturo siya doon. Efren knocks out the three from Django's side. Again, Django shooting on the right pocket in this rack, and Efren shooting on the left pocket. Django needs just one more rack to end hostilities here in day one. Let's see if Efren gets tempted to shoot the 14 as a two-railer. <laughs> 14? <laughs> as a two-railer. Mm. I've seen him do this before, though. Yeah, he's, he thought about it. He's thinking, nah, let's just play some more defense. And 
and 14 ball is not yet available here for Django because the one and the three are in the way. Otherwise, he wouldn't play that shot. Yeah. Or maybe the five ball is available now as a bank shot for Django. Takes it on. He's going to miss it, though. But does, but does not sell out anything for Efren. Doesn't, doesn't give Efren any offensive option, you're right. <coughs> Again, this is rack number eight. Our race to six for today, race to six again tomorrow. Efren puts mm. the seven ball near the corner pocket. Near his pocket, at least. Django's just going to knock it out of there. From Anito Kid, again, Ramon Mistica. Also known as the Maestro, is our official referee for this event, diba? Right? Yes. The Maestro used to teach pool in Canada and in the U.S., thus the moniker. Well, he has touched many lives, of course, as a billiards coach. You do have two legends here, so why not bring in a third one in Ramon Mystica? You know that Django's itching to go on offense. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his face. Pero hindi pwedeng padalos dalos dito. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You're up against Efren. Even if Efren's down two racks to five, he can just string together wins here. Not leaving anything easy here again for the magician. There's your two railer. Here it comes. He's just going to knock this out again. Who's that? Is that Robin's, Robin Hood Cruz? Yeah, that's Ro Robin Hood Cruz. So therefore, AJ is the real coat. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I mean, how can you how can you put the safe to say <laughs> on, on Efren? No, when he released, it looks okay. The ball is Then he just comes up short on preparation and that gives Django the whole rack. <laughs> yeah, the the first person to actually get a shot here is gonna win the rack. Uh oh. Effort might take a chance here on the seven. Let's see if he does that. He does. He's not going to come up anywhere near it, though. Now, it looks like the two ball might be available now for, for Django as a bank shot. Wow. Almost. Almost. Efren's got the seven, though. Yeah, me seven chadito. But. It all depends on where he puts the cue ball too. <laughs> Don Vigor. <laughs> AJ the plague. <laughs> that's that's a great <laughs> moniker, Don. Thank you very much. He is. I mean he's AJ a nice guy plague. and all, but when he gets that safe to say thing oh, oh shoot i said it <laughs> when he said when he puts that safe to say thing on the table you know bad things happen to really good men <laughs> i mean you guys have to catch our, our sharks nine ball showdown tonight i mean 
we have a list of 50 players. I guess half of them he's already cursed. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's a nice guy. He means well and all, but that mo- that 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 thing <laughs> that which <laughs> not that which which shall not be said. Look at this attack by Efren. How many rails did Ooh. he go? How many rails did he do that with? One, two, three. Three. And the thing is, Django saying, "Aha." I see a seven ball near his pocket. I'm taking it out of there. Buti na lang hindi niya nabenta tong dos. No, still, if, you, if you're Django, you still want to get that seven ball out of there no matter what offensive option you have. You don't want Efren to have any shot at, you know, mounting any kind of momentum here. So he's going to get the seven ball out of there again and bring it to his side. And again, Efren's got nothing. Although the four ball looks like it can cross bank. And we're saying this because it's Efren. <coughs> yeah, he's looking at the four. Oh, he's looking at getting some stuff out of Django's side. Now, this is what one pocket feels like, really. Not much on the offense. We're still scoreless here in rack, eight, in, in rack eight. These gentlemen are just putting on some pretty good defensive shots. Well, yeah, Efren still got nothing here, but balls are slowly creeping towards the side of Janko. You notice uh, on the bottom part of your screen, oh, that's cast, by the way. All of the balls are on the side of Django. And Efren's going to continue doing this. Now, I'm not sure if Django sees enough of the five ball to bank it. Uh, he's frozen behind the seven, so that. Or he might go rail first and try to bank it. Let's see. got to hit something. Uh, it's a legal shot. Now Efren has an 11 ball in his sights. He can actually make this. It's his first offensive look of this rack. He's going for it too. Oh, he's actually using the 11 ball to mess stuff up. But sells out the seven. Yeah, sells out the seven ball. Perhaps even the two. Perhaps even the twelve. Perhaps everything. Well, we're looking at three balls right now. Probably four if he can get to the five ball. But Janko's going to get on the board now. Oh, it looks like the three. He's, l he's eyeing the three. Pass behind the seven. Oh, he played it as a combination for the 13. Well, Efren's got all sorts of looks now. Initially the nine, perhaps the seven. Yeah, seven first. And he's got the six next, perhaps the 10. Actually, the 10 is a better shot because you can get the 5. Oh, but he left oh. the 10 again. Well, the good news is Django doesn't really have anything ready unless, well, I really don't see anything for Django. That 13 ball doesn't look like it banks. Well, maybe the 9. Yes, you're right. The 9. The 9 could bank. This also tests the commentators, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so AJ found it first. It is the nine ball that banks now for, for Django. Ooh, almost. And with that, gets the three, the 13, perhaps even the two ball. Uh, 
Oh, he missed mm -hmm. it. Unforced errors. Yeah. Just like Efren. With just one shot. Yeah. Efren turned the tables around. This is a combination shot for Efren on anything. It's the 15 to the... Is that the, the 12 ball right there? 15 to 12. Still holds for the 15 later on. He can still see the 14 now. This is looking good now for Efren. That's not the 14. Check me. That's the 12. That's a 10 ball. And he shoots the 2. Comes back for the 10. Or... Anyone he wants. <laughs> yeah. Efren needs five more to take this rack. Yeah. Nicely done. It's that kung uh kung hindi man yung saiz, five ano to, ano ba yung fifteen. Mm -hmm. Kinse. Gotta stop uh -oh. though, gotta stop. Mm -hmm. All right, still okay. Just in time. Three away. Two more needed. Five and perhaps the 11 ball. Yeah, it's the 11 ball. It's going to be the last ball now for Efren. So after a lot of jostling for position... Efren sees one opportunity and nails it. So Efren Reyes now has cut the lead to just two. Francisco Bustamante is still ahead here in this race to six for day one. Five to three. He's on the hill. Efren's going to be breaking, though. Yeah, five games to three. Grabe, no? Isang pagkakamali lang talaga yeah. will cost you the match. At bago magsimula, ang susunod naman na rock nila... Maraming salamat sa Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugaw, Ang Lugaw ng Kubaw, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target On Air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, De Hadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Hard Times, Billiard Planet and Rapa Commercial. <coughs> so there we have it. It's 5 3. Still in favor of Francisco Bustamante. And our referee, the great Monching Mystica. And there's the greatest of all time right there, Efren. Yeah, he was uh, sharing some jokes earlier today, of course. He's in a very, very upbeat mood. Never over till it's over. That's from true. Edward Hoffman. That's true. And from Doc Jun Villion, sabi niya, kala ko kami lang <laughs> ang nagkakamali. All right. Yeah, but the safe to say is a different animal altogether. <laughs> Efren's now on the left side. Django is now on the right side. Looks like Django's going to do some early attacking here with the 13 ball. So Django's taking the right side, Efren's taking. That's got to hit a rail, though. Oh, that's a foul. So Efren owes one. Ni pala din ang tanong kay, ano, no? kay Efren kung kailan siya naglaro ng one pocket. Well, in 1986. The He's last time? The first time. I mean, the last time. Oh, must have been okay. against this guy. <laughs> Probably just this year. Mm. And hello to Jefferson Egipito. Egipto. Mm -hmm. Watching from Bahrain. 
Oh, another foul. These guys owe each other one. Hmm. Still nothing, though. I think if Efren's going to bank this, though. Bank the five? He's double clutched on it. Ten's going to be in the way, and he knows it. He's not even attacking anymore. Again, leaves nothing for Francisco. Binabatika ni Charlie Abuta. Hmm, good evening. Good afternoon. From Jeddah. Good afternoon. So there's already one ball on the side of Django that can go down any time. Efren's thinking how he's going to take it out. He, he can actually see the whole five ball. He can't take it out of there. Oh. Now I'm confused. Is Efren shooting into this right side? They've been like, so wala siyang ibang ano. Right. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. So we are correct here. It is Django on the right side, Efren's on the left. All right. Just returned it. They're still on one foul each. They still owe each other one ball. Efren's looking at the 12. Or Django, rather, is looking at the 12 ball. But then looks like he's just going to stray away from it. Shooting at the 3 now. Sends the 8 back into the pile. So Efren's going to try to develop the five, just like that. And Janko can't knock it out. Yeah, that's a good shot. And Janko can't do anything. He's bridging over like 10,000 balls. <laughs> Well, he is going to try to bridge over 10,000 balls. Probably send the 13 to his side. No, oh, it's a foul. Ah, now he owes two. <laughs> Mr. Mystico is going to run out of chalk. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's brought like a lot of them. <laughs> Yeah, usually, you know, you have those tables with the with the with the number with the yeah, roller there. That, that's where the, you could write the foul indicators. We don't have that here. So, Mr. Foul Mystica, the score. yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mystica is getting very creative. So, Efren has the five for sure. Tries to manufacture the three and oh. overcooks it. Yun lang. Overcooks the three. So Efren back to zero. Good news for Efren is Django still owes him two. At minus two right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has no choice here but to just give up the table once again. And sends the 12 ball to his side. 
And there's the ball that Efren owes. So Mr. Mystico gets some chalk back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Django can bank in the eight. You can see in the background our boss just arrived, Mr. Perry Mariano of Bugsy Promotion. And there he is. And here is Django shot. He can bank this. It looks like it clears the 14. But it looks like he's opting to play some defense as well. Oh, it clears mm. the 14. That is just a wow. razor thin shot there. For Django. Nice shot. So alang walang susunod. Yeah. Imagine the pressure of playing one pocket at the Derby City Classic with a one minute shot clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Those are the conditions there. Django's gonna play this one left handed. So there's the ball that Django owes. He's down to minus one now. Choo Choo Train starting to develop there at the, at the spot. Efren's going to try to send, I believe, the three ball away. Yeah, that's sort of messed up already up there. You got two balls near the rail that have to be developed later on. Django has a bank on the 14, but is opting not to go offensive at this point. Instead, <laughs> dirties up the table even more by sending yet another ball up table. Ito na nagsimula na yung talagang one is, bucket. Yeah, this is what we came here for, guys. Yeah. This is what this game is all about. Piga an talaga ng dito. Yeah. From Carlos Lopez, Django does not owe ball anymore. Yeah, he's back to zero. Yeah. Correct, correct. We corrected our score. We did a, re we did a recount. If you notice in the score now, it's back to zero. Efren's going to owe, owe a ball right now. Hindi raw maisip yung kaboses ni Coach Monching. Hindi niya maisip, sabi ni Robin Hood. And we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and you could try to copy him. Yeah. So Efren <laughs> back to minus one right now. Efren's back to minus one. Efren minus one, guys, huh? That's close. At least he keeps it there. And Efren can't knock it away unless he kicks at this. Which he might do. Yeah, that's his only shot right now. I don't know what he's... Oh, he's going to run into the pile and put the 7 and 2 in. Look How about that? that? <laughs> wow. So we in did, one shot... That. Yeah, in one shot, Efren says, all right, enough, enough of this defense thing. So he's back to... on. The, he's back on the plus side. He's got one. Uh, there's the 14 ball, though, on the side of Django. So he decides just give Django that ball. So Django now up to one. Look at the 
<laughs> Look at what Monching now has to do. And those are the balls. Yeah, they have to come out. So tied at one now here in rack number nine. Look at that, half the population of the table are up table now. Efren can't bank in the six. But he can't push it into a combination. Let's see what he does. He is shooting the six. Can try to push it into a combination, it appears. Oh no, he can't back the six. Oh, nicely done. So there was enough angle for Efren to get the six. Now he's got a shot on the two, the 11, the 12, the nine. It ain't over. Until it's one. over. Yeah. And for now at uh, three, needing five more. Needs four more. He's good until the nine. Then you have to deal with some of those balls that are up table. Well, he's not going to land favorably on the nine. Efren still needs three. Nothing banks at this point. Might kick at the four, uh, the the four twelve combination. But that's something that is reserved for television, I think. <laughs> he's he's actually entertaining it right now. No, it looks like he's playing defense. He played that shot left-handed, too. So he surrenders the table once again to Francisco. But needs only three more balls. Francisco needs... Bustamante needs seven. Nothing is close to his pocket right now. So more balls are sent up table. Efra needs three. You can he back the eight? This thing could scratch, so. From Bain Mendoza, this is why I encourage the young players from the Philippines to play one pocket. Yeah. Start playing one pocket. Yes. This is a beautiful game, actually. Air friend says, let's dirty it up even more. <laughs> I think Jago can back the eight now. That's the, he does have an offensive option here with the eight. Oh, but he's looking elsewhere. Dirty it up even more. Oops. Gave Efren the four. Efren's got a shot on the four. Maybe he could develop the others as well. Missed it, though. Mm -hmm. And he gives the four to Django. Sells out the four. <laughs> Efren's just kicking himself right now with a smile. Uh, Django's going to have to play some kind of a mega draw. This is actually straight in. Oh, it's not straight in, so he's going to play some kind of follow on this. There you go. Not enough, though. Yeah, but he can still back the eight. Yeah, the eight ball. But he's going to have to use the bridge to do that.
So he's going to try to hide once again. And 12 ball goes back up to the spot. Efren's got nothing right now, but he still needs three. He might try to steal the eight ball. Let's see if he does that. Yeah, I might try to steal the eight ball, huh? Oh. Oh my goodness, look at what he just did. <laughs> he just blocked Francisco <laughs> by making the 12. <laughs> <laughs> he just blocked Francisco Bustamante. <laughs> now that's that's a shot of a legend right there. Alam niya kasi is a spot don. Yeah. Stinapol niya yung pato don. Bang klase talaga. Efren can see the eight ball now. He can see the twelve ball as well. These are all bankable shots, but one miss. Well, there's a big problem there. Look at the way, the way they dirtied the table by sending five balls up table. They're all clustered together. This, this is going to take a while. This rack's still going to take a while. But somebody's got to start banking these open shots now. Efren says, no, let's have more of the party now. It looks like Francisco is going to send the cue ball after banking the eight. It went into the wrong pocket, though, so that's going to be respotted. Uh, he's going to force the action up table now for Efren. And Efren says, well, I'll just leave them all there. One and eight may go to the side of Francisco right now. Both can go cross bank. Yeah. But that's not going to cut it. Francisco needs a lot more than just two. So let's wait for somebody to make a mistake. Efren needs three. Oh, this is going to take a while also. The way they're <laughs> yeah. playing up table now. <laughs> no, they, they both did that. They both did that. It's like, all right, guys, we saw the offense earlier. Now it's time to show you what the defense looks like in one pocket. That's right. So uh, Janko Pats one sends the 11 near his side already. And because the wa the five ball is going to be, or the three ball is going to be respotted, Efren's now going to try to knock this one out of here. Hold on. Efren's going to try to knock out the 15 without costing himself a ball. Or does he just deposit it on the side of Django already? He just deposits yeah. it, deposits it uh, in Django's ledger. Not allow Django to develop something from making the ball. Django's gonna oh, attack with a five. Mm, He's almost. Come up short, yeah. Efren's going to get that five ball out of there. Send it to his side and send the cue ball up table once again. Now that's what the defense looks like. You always want to put the cue ball near the, the short rail up top. To force all sorts of long shots. Distance lang para pahirapan, no? Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Oh boy, Django's gonna send the five ball up table again. No, send it back to his side. So we're seeing some kind of a tennis match now. <laughs> And their friend says, no, I want the five ball on my side. What are you doing? <laughs> and send the cue ball back there again. All right, Efren's found his touch now. Does not show the one ball again to Django. So Django can just go back and forth until somebody makes a mistake here. There's the beauty of one pocket. You have to think of the end result as you go along as well. I mean, they both need that clump of three balls up there. And Django says, come and get it, Efren. So he's literally selling out the five ball now for Efren, hoping that Efren makes a mistake. But Efren only needs three more. And there are four down table. Django sends the five ball to his side again. Look at this. Oh, this is going to be this. a great shot. Yeah. Efren's running out of options here. He's got to send the nine ball to his side. And here's where you develop now that top pile that they dirtied up. They're starting to come back down. Django's just going to knock the nine ball away again. Now let's see if Efren likes to kick. This is the closest the cue ball has been to striking distance. So let's see if Efren tries to kick. Or is he going to use this 3-8 to his advantage? Again, he knows that Django needs the balls upstairs. Efren does not. That's a foul? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless he hits this, it's a foul. Mm -hmm. So our friend's going to lose a point. Sana meron dong ganto sa mini clip. Oh my gosh. Para makapaglaro si Robin Hood Cruz. It's going to drive you crazy, sir. Efren <laughs> looks like he's down to four, right? Efren's down to four. Django's going to send another ball to his side. You are welcome, Brad Doherty, living, Brad in, Doherty. Bacol li living in Bacolod. Brad Doherty, the NBA player? <laughs> yeah, that's probably the NBA player's name. Yeah, that is his name. But I, I doubt if that's Brad Doherty, the real <laughs> NBA player. If he's living in Bacolod. Isang pagkakamali mo lang malamang. Na safe to say ka na. Oh my goodness, don't say that now. <laughs> this is a great rack that we're witnessing here. Efren's stuck. Best that he can do is get the 13 ball out of there now. Okay, he got it out. <laughs> Look at the safety he played too. Oh, is Jago gonna back the five? Double clutches here, but maybe he can back the five. Swerve the cue ball a little, then bank the five. That's a tough job. This is Django we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but now he's just gonna play defense. Mm. 
Look at how far back the cue ball is. And nothing now at the top of the table. Everything's near. And Efren almost makes the 12. Django can clip the 13. This is it. Mm -hmm. Can he see enough of the 6? That's the next question. If not, he could take on the 5. Yeah. But the 6 solves because he needs more than Efren does. The 6 solves something. Yeah, six ball. Well, at least within the area. That's a legal shot, too. Oh, look at this. Efren used the point, almost backed it in. Yeah. <laughs> Sayang. The three is visible. Not enough to make the three. Maybe send the three to the six because it is close. I think he can get enough of the three. I think it's too thin. Maybe if he could hit the six. Yeah, or maybe if he could hit the six too. But yeah, that, that's, that'll help. That's the only thing he's looking at right now. He's going to put one down for Efren, it appears, and try to hide the, f the cue ball behind the five. Or just send it back to his side. Efren sees the five, though. Efren needs four. We'll try to... Which means, where are you going? <laughs> can he back the six or can he back the one? How about the nine? Yeah, that's also a good option. He's not even looking at the nine, though, so... I think his intention, on, his intention was actually to play this shot, but went a little too far off. Oh, it looks like he's going for the six. Or just play defense again. He knew he was long Yeah. The six and seven are together. He can't, well, he can actually try to bank the six. He's going for the 12. He'll send the 12 away. Efren's on the rail, so he can't do anything to attack the nine. Django's going to kick at the 12. And the one is sold out for Efren. And Efren needs three. Or for Django, rather. 
So Django's going to send this to the other side. Again, so we're back on defense. Efra now. Sends the cue ball up table once again. Again, no offensive options here for Bustamante. Janko needs this rack to end hostilities for day one. If Efren wins, we still play on. This is looking good. This is tracking well. It's got good speed. Oh! Mm -hmm. Millimeters away. The good news is Efren can't touch this anymore. But I think he has the eight. Well, he's looking at something there. No, he doesn't have enough of the eight. So, Efren's just going to deposit this and tell Django, develop your own shot. <laughs> so, Efren now gives Django his fourth, fourth ball of this rack. Django knows the powers of Efren and does not give him any look at a clean bank shot. That's right. Django does have a look for a bank shot with a six. And if he holds the cue ball here, it's like free offense. Just sends it up table though. Oh, that's that's vicious. <laughs> Putting the eight ball there, it's it's out. It's for no no of no use to anyone now. See what Django does here. Yeah, still gives Efren nothing. No semblance of attacking. Efren needs three balls, and there are three balls loose now. Django needs four. So one of the balls at the pocket needs to be played for Django to get a chance. like Django got stumped here. Let's see if he can actually bring the one ball back down to his side. No, he just decides to play the one ball into that pile. Now Efren can just send the cue ball down table again. Oh, 
My friend attacks. Sends the three and the one to his side. Now the three is bankable. Not quite sure if, uh, oh yeah, it, does. it is bankable. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Almost. Well, Africa can still get rid of that. Brings it back to his side. Don't want to hit the eight because the eight's going to come back and play. Let's see if Janko tries the same shot on the one. It sends the three up table once again. It's better to do that than just leave any possible offensive shot near the pocket for Efren. Look at this. Look at what Efren played. Oh, Ooh. goodness. Well, look at, the, look at the result, though. Django is behind the nine. So he can't get the one ball out of there. He's going to have to, he's being forced to shoot the nine. Again, the eight is indisposed already unless it goes in. Django needs four. Efren needs three. Looks like things have opened up after he made that nine. Django. Now here's the dilemma. Three balls are deposited near the pocket and he's going to have to give one up to Efren right there. He's now going to have to play it from the spot. So Efren two balls away. And returns the eight ball. It's going to force Django to play the eight ball. Or send it back up table again. Ooh, hit the point. Again, even if Django gets this eight, he'll still need that last six ball. Actually, both of them do. It's going to be two rails. Yeah, send this up the table again. They both need that six ball that's in the corner pocket right now that at the brink of falling. Hmm, Efren sends it towards the six ball. Django can actually m hit the eight, make the six, just park it right behind. But of course, Efren could have a shot. Oh, Efren's going to have a shot? No. 
great cue ball control. Nefren's going to get rid of the six now. Efren putting the six ball near. Oh, Django scratches. That's going to cost him a ball. Efren makes the six. Huh? Efren needs this. Yeah, he's going to win this rack. Very long rack won there by Efren. And he is only down by one rack right now. Five to four. Django, of course, on the hill already. There's confirmation of our score by Cassie. So Django Bustamante, his lead is just down to one. So Efren coming back from being down 5-2, he has won the last two racks. And Django. Not liking the way that rack ended for him because of the scratch. And it's now five to four. Yeah. And Efren's breaking. <coughs> We're heading into rack 10 right now. So it is Django breaking, rather. <coughs> and this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar in Quezon City. So it's a pretty much a scatter break, one of the most scattered breaks that we've seen in the competition today. Yeah. Mas malakas ngayon. Yeah. Kumpara kanina. Cassie is trying her best to stay poised. Everyone's going to try to send the six ball. I think that's... Is that a foul? Let's see. The referee hasn't stepped in, so I guess it's not a foul. Yeah, there are no markers on the table, so that's not a foul. Efren may have... No. He would have had enough of the six ball if the 11 wasn't in the way, so... See how they develop this. And just sends the six ball away. Bustamante looking up table now. <coughs> I'm going 
going to have a little bit of defense here at the onset. Nothing really on anybody's side. Eagle shot once again. Mustamante shooting into the right pocket, Efren shooting into the left. You can see from the top view, nothing's really available here for, for Django. <coughs> Looks like he may push the 14 ball. Or push, oh, he's pushing the 11 ball and try to hide. There you go. Efren can't see the two. Just probably going to return the favor right now. Just nudge the 12 and bring the cue ball back near Django's pocket. Just like that. Francisco now is going to touch the 14 or touch the 7 ball and put it up. Not quite sure now if Efren can see the 2 ball. He can. The 7 might be on the way. He's attacking the 2. Seven was in the way, you're right, AJ. Yeah. Hmm. Again, there is no shot on the one. See what Bustamante does with this one. He's looking up table at something. From the way the angles work right now, the one does not bank. If he tries to go for the four, the one is in the way. So he'll just hook Efren once again. That's a foul. Or is it a foul? Referee Ramon Mystica has not indicated that Efren owes anything.
That is a nice touch there coming from Francisco. Air friend can't go anywhere. That's a legal shot. This is the biggest chess match of all the racks so far. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because it's not intentionally being dirtied up. It's just that the cue ball positioning has been pretty good for these two guys. Francisco shooting into the right side. And friend to the left. Here we go again. And you know what? Francisco is not giving Efren any chance to bank. But now, Efren might take on the two. Again, what goes through the minds of these players. One pocket is such a different sport altogether. Is Efren trying to bank this now? No, he's just going to send the two ball away. Now Francisco has a bank shot on the four. Oh no, the seven's in the way. Another good shot there from Bustamante. Reyes just cannot fire. Is Django now thinking of bringing this four ball down table? And just leave it right there. Just gonna kick. That's a foul. So Django now at minus one. Django minus one. Looking at the two ball, probably send it to the uh, near his pocket at least. It's going to cross all sorts of traffic, but he gets the job done. Efren's eyeing the four ball right now. To make the four ball go near his pocket, he has to avoid the nine and the six. And shooting at something else now. Or at least tried to look if he could shoot at the seven. Yeah. And yun tini tina ko isn't the one in the natural path? Maybe. Kaya medyo iniwasan na niya yung siete. So back to defense now for Efren. Still can't make up his mind though. You think he's gonna go for the seven? Hmm. 
So did the acrobatic shot. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, <laughs> almost made that ball. Acrobatic with a 15. Or make that the 12 ball. Bustamante on one foul. Decides to just give Efren that ball instead of letting him develop something. <coughs> so Reyes now with one. Bustamante at minus one. Django waiting to see what Efren does with his next shot. That might have been a little on the weak side. There is a 13 to 2 combination. Yeah. 213. Make that 13 to 2. Yeah, 13 to 2 combination. Django's not shooting it though, he's going to shoot at something else. Sends the 15 ball up table. Pots the one, but it's just respotted. So, Efren is still working on the left side of the table. Has this layout to look at. Again, not quite sure if the seven actually banks. He's not shooting it though. Well, puts the nine ball into the side. I think he sells out the two. Yep. Now by selling out the two, he's also selling out the 13. Perhaps even the eight. We'll see how Janko operates here. So John go back to zero. <coughs> well, runs into the pile, nicely yeah, done. Nicely done. I don't know if the thirteen still passes the eight. I think not. Look at that. Or make that thirteen. The ten still passes the eight. He's going to queue over the one. Yeah. That's a good, I good idea, though, but. So it looks like he's going to be playing back to playing defense again. So there's the ball he owes. So we're tied at one here in rack number 10. Django is, at, is on the hill already. Has been on the hill for the last hour. Efren was down 5-2 when Django hit the hill. For today at least. This is a race to 12. Imagine if we were playing a race to 12 today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Efren's made up his mind. He's going to kick at the eight. Oh, almost manufactured an offensive shot. Not sure if Django actually can hit on the 10 ball. It 
See if he can cut, in, cut the 10 ball in. And play it with enough forward so that it hits the 5 and the 8. Yeah, he's looking at the 10 ball now. He has to just put a little bit of forward on this. It's not going to scratch if he if he changes the angle of the cue ball. He's thinking about the benefits of hitting this. Yeah, he may make the 10, but he's sending more balls to the side of Efren. AJ was pointing out at the 15 ball as well. Looks like he's taking on the 15, or he's shooting at the 14. No, he's taking on the 15. 15 bank, yeah. yeah. Almost made it. Yeah, sells out the 9 to Efren. That though. was the risk. Yeah. 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 Sells out the 9, and, and if Efren plays this well, he might even get the 10. Well, Efren's not shooting the 9, though. He's trying to take the 15 out of Django's ledger and put it to his side. Django still has the 10, by the way. Yeah. No, yeah available sana yung, yung, ano, yung sa East at yung 11. Hindi mm -hmm. magka tabing ganyan. Yeah. He would have taken the 9. Django's not shooting at the 10, though. He's wrecking up that pile and oh, almost made the 5. Quite sure if Efren can back in the two from here. Yeah, it is on. Two ball. He's got to narrowly avoid the ten for that to happen. And seven ball, that's a long distance bank. He's really having second thoughts about the two because it's going to come really close to the 10. If it clips the 10, it's not going anywhere. I wish we could hear what he's thinking. <laughs> well, he's just going to kick at the 5. Is that a foul? Well, there are no markers on the table, so... I guess we'll find out after Django's turn. If our referee brings back a ball, no, he does not. So it was not a foul. Efren can only see the five directly here. Well, that's going to be another foul. Yeah, so... There's our referee, Monchin Mystica. So Efren back to zero. Yeah, 
And Reyes now looking at the eight ball, probably try to send it to his side. Django now thinking about what to do next. A kick at the five. Again, sells nothing out. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why the effort hasn't taken on the seven ball. Yeah, yet. me too. after the seven. Well, at least you can develop stuff from up there. Mm -hmm, yeah. He's paused here. He's perplexed about something. He's going to attack the two. Well, it does pass if he can get the whole two ball. And he's going to play defense again. Yeah, he's going to send the nine ball down. Form an even longer line. It's like someone's about to take a penalty kick. Look at that. That's a long line. Choo choo train. Oh, look at this. A little stronger Janko would have made that. Yeah. He's also tied up the cue ball so Efren can't address that. good response Francisco does have a free three but he's looking elsewhere right now he just knocked the seven into the five So I think it comes to the point that you're also reading the other guy's mind. Yeah. You know that. What's he doing? What's he what's he trying to do here? What's he gonna do next? It'll be interesting. These guys have been playing against each other and with each other for, for decades already. So there's probably thinking, I know he does this, so why is he doing this now? Yeah, mind games. And time and time again, Efren's forcing Francisco into a blind cut, but Francisco's just saying, no, I'm going to do something else. Baka alam niyang gustong umupensa ni, ano, ni Django. Yeah, but he should have taken some of those blind cuts already, but Django's now thinking also, hey, why is Efren giving me this shot? I'm going to try to wear him down and see where he takes it.
paunahan dito kung sino mainip eh, no? Ah, I don't think that's gonna happen to any of these guys. I think they're gonna be very patient about the way they execute. Mm-hmm. Notice that Efren's not giving Django any shot on the one because Efren can't address the one. Uh, Django's gonna send another ball. Yeah, their friend doesn't have anything. And especially now that he's sort of blocked by the eight in any direction he wants. Still doesn't sell anything out for yeah. for Bustamante. Well, look at this. Almost tries a bank combination there. Efren now has a bank on the nine. Small hole, but he can make it. He's attacking the three wall, though. Oh, into three the nine. nine. Oh, okay. Ooh. And at the same time, look at the result. Doesn't sell out the one again. Francisco might try to snip in the 14. No, he's going to try to... Oh, he's going to give Efren that one. So Efren back to one. Yeah, the reason why he did that is he didn't want Efren to develop a shot from making that one. Efren's going into the pile. No, he's hitting the three. And again, look at the way he just... He's very conscious about where the one ball is. He won't give Bustamante any shot at that. Yeah. And it'll come to a point where Efren can't hide the cue ball anymore. He's going to have to kick the one away. Now, Bustamante, let's see if he tries to make the seven ball fit. He's going to use the ricochet to bring the seven near the one. Now again, the question beckons. Does Efren see enough of the two to bank it? Looks like he will try it now. Oh, he's just going to send the seven ball. Look at Look this. Look at that. Wow. That just solved a lot of problems. That might be his key shot. And he's got the one. Got that's the for one. sure. Yeah. Does he try to manipulate to a, a bank on the two? He'll just work his way. Oh, he's not going to make it. Ah, got hooked though. He's not going to make it. One mistake. Janko's got two balls lined up already there. Perhaps even the eighth ball.
That's his best response. Reyes three, Bustamante one here in rack number 10. Are you guys still okay out there? <laughs> Yeah, Django knows that nothing banks here for Efren either. Or so it seems, because if Efren sees enough of this too, he can cross this. See that? The two ball is right there. He may be able to bank this in. But he's looking at something else. Look at where he plays the cue ball, too. Janko can actually go up table for the 5 and send the 5 near his pocket, or he's going to play this. Send the ball away. That's a very good result. Because now Janko can't go anywhere up the table unless he takes a shot at this 14. Yeah, he can shoot the 14, leave the cue ball right here, send the 14 up table. Oh, shooting the 12 sends both balls up table. Oh, I'm not quite sure. If Efren decides to attack, it's to the 15 ball. So sort of telling Janko, go ahead, I dare you to shoot the two. Hmm. I dare you to shoot the two. I open him. You might send a 10 down there. On the two. Combination. What a shot. Ooh. That almost went in. Django's mounting some consecutive balls over at his side, and Efren has to do something about this now. Can't do anything about the two ball right now. He can still do something with the 10 ball. Oh, just gives the two ball away. So Bustamante now at two. Efren's going to take the 10 ball away. He's going to kick at it. Yeah, he's going to kick at the 10. Mm -hmm. It's on. Yeah, it's a good shot. Did it bounce? It bounced. The, the 10 ball actually landed on the rail. Okay, good shot. Efren's been giving, oh, Janko's doing the, other, the the thing to Efren right now. He's giving Efren a look at a cut shot. 
Efron's going to send this away. He's going to make the 11 too. It's going to come back up. Again, these guys know what setups look like. In Tagalog, pain. Pain, yeah. They know what it looks like. Pag nainit, yung once, pwedeng ikat. Yeah, he can, he can do that. But again, what's what's after that? Might just open the table for Django. Yeah, that's right. And if you miss it, it's even worse. Yeah. So Django, look at this. He is, position-wise, he's ahead. Because he's sending all of the balls that he can shoot consecutively to his side. For Efren, he needs to develop these balls if he can find some offense. Again, Django trying to win in the positional war at least for the moment. Efren's got a clean look at the 11. Yeah, much cleaner look. Let's see if he takes this. Efren still needs five. He's not taking it. Maka unti unti narin yung ane no nilalagay yung bola sa side niya. Yeah, well. That's what Efren's trying to do right now. He's actually... Well, he sold something out now to Francisco. Or oh, Efren... Francisco tried to... Dare Efren into shooting something. Eight balls still doesn't bank. I don't know if the three is seen. If Efren can see the three, he can attack. Pero mukhang hooked na siya dito sa cinco. He's going to send the five to his side. But by doing so, might also open up the side of uh, Bustamante. Yeah, this is the problem now for Efren. I mean, probably the best shot he has is at the six ball and then just send the cue ball down table. That's exactly what he does. Use the six, send the cue ball down table. And leave Django with nothing again.
actually going to try to send this 11 ball to his side. And I just put the cue ball down. I think this is going to be the trend for the better part of what we're seeing right now. Is that you don't want any form of a clean look to be developed. So Francisco down to 10. He's going to send the cue ball up table. Oh, look at this. He's sending the 10 ball to his side. Almost banked it in. And Efren can't touch the 10 ball from here. Tried to. But that's going to leave the 10 to Francisco Bustamante. Now from here, what can Francisco develop? Oh, does he even have a shot at this 10? That's the question. Yeah, we're not playing mini clip here. Mini-clip man yan, pwedeng cut yan. That's just like a one millimeter line yeah. on mini-clip. So Django's just going to send the cue ball up table again. Up to the point now where Efren still cannot touch the 12 ball. Or the 10 ball, rather. He's going to try to cross something in. 11. And Django can just knock that out again. He's going to leave it there for Efren and do something of his own. And it's going to be a roll, a combination from the 6 to the 10 ball, but he left the 10 ball and in doing so left an open shot for Efren with the 11. Efren now on his way to 4. And get to the six as well. Efren now at four. Going on five. Oh, nicely done. Efren now three balls away from sending us to a hill hill. All started from a miss by Francisco Bustamante. However, what does Efren have left? He still needs two. He's just going to give Francisco this one. <coughs> so Bustamante now up to three. Reyes now at six. But Reyes only needs two more. Bustamante needs five. Gonna try to roll this in, long distance bank. Come up short once again, put the pressure on Efren. It's just gonna get that 12 ball out of there, but... He's Fouls. stretched, yeah. So Efren's down to five again. And Bustamante now has ball in hand from behind the head string. There's only... A lot. <laughs> yeah, there are three balls past the head string. One of them is the three. It's 
see if Django can have enough cue ball control now to address those balls upstairs. He's going to try to address the next shot after hitting the 10. Bustamante now at 4, going on 5. He just said Naku, that means he's going to come up short. He is very short. Resign for that. What's this? That's supposed to be the nine ball, I believe. The nine. He's going to send the 14 towards his pocket. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. He almost made it, too. Yeah. Not quite sure if Efren can knock this out. So Efren's going to have to attack the five ball yeah, now. Then five. It's going to be a race now. It was a defensive contest earlier. Now it's a race of better offense. And Efren. Great touch. Maestro. Great touch. Needs two more. And he's got his eyes set now on this 12 ball. However, the 8 and the 4 are still back there. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's not going to get it done. Yeah. So Bustamante now needs three. Efren needs two. You're tied. They both need two. Oh, is he getting? He's is he gonna give the twelve ball to Efren? He is. Oh, and he scratches too. So Bustamante down to five, Efren at seven. Okay lang. Yeah. Frozen naman kasi itong dalawa. Yeah, Efren's at seven now, Bustamante at five. But Efren's going to be shooting from behind the head string. So let's see if this risk is going to pay off for, for Django. That was an intentional scratch he did. Oh, Efren's going to use the 11 ball, almost get, gets it to go. Yeah, but it didn't sound good leaving off his cue. And Django's going to knock the 11 out of that pocket now. Send it up. Now, Efren, if he banks this, it's right on the rail. If Efren can bank in the 11, he, he gets it. Look at this. Look at this. It's going to go in. It's going to go it's in. It's going to go in. And Efren Reyes. Oh, now he's at seven. That's not going to get there. So Efren just needs one more. Django's going to knock this out again. <laughs> Connected to another ball. Yeah, Efren might just consider making the four ball and leaving the cue ball up table. Are you still going to attack that cluster there? Oh, send mm. the eight ball down here. Why not? Oh. Jango's gonna bank. Almost.
almost. Their friend's going to knock that out, this out again. Send it to his side. <coughs> Looks like Django's playing two rails for this 11 now. I'm not quite sure if he's going to get there. He froze the cue ball on at the top rail. This makes it a difficult shot now for Efren. But if Efren gets this, he's going to take the rack and we're going to have a hill hill. Eight ball. Yeah, going to have make Efren work for this win. Oh, look mm -hmm. at this. Yeah. Just one. looking at the 11 as well, but doesn't want to take this on. And this is what Django's giving him right now, so is he just going to send the eight ball up table or is he going to go offensive with this? Oops. Ah, didn't sound no, good. Well, that's going to work into a bank shot now for, for Bustamante. Maybe if he's it, it's not frozen on the rail, so Django can bank this and come up for the eleven ball. Oh, he missed mm, it, and Efren's almost. got a golden opportunity now with this eight. We're gonna have a hill hill match if Efren can make this eight. Their friend nice sends us to a hill hill for day one. Okay. Look at that smile. <laughs> he was, <laughs> he's, he's whistling. He's trying to whistle too. <laughs> that was a long match. That was a pretty, uh, that was a, a lot of brains had to go into that one. So Efren was down 5-2 in the race to six for day one has now tied it up at five apiece. As Angel confirms the score once again. I'm going to step away for a bit, sir, so you can actually... I think right. we're on a timeout. I think we're on a timeout. Are we? Timeout, Pato. Timeout, no? Timeout. Oh, we're on a timeout right now. Stay with us for the conclusion of this day one affair between Efren and Django. One pocket showdown right here at Sharks. We'll be back. And we are back. This is the final rack of the day. It has come down to this. Hill, we're hill. To, yeah, we're playing to six right now. Of course, no, we won't determine a winner until tomorrow. But it hill, was, hill for day one. Yeah, for day one. Uh, Francisco Bustamante was leading five to two. Reyes is now taking the right, uh, the left pocket. Bustamante taking the right pocket. Once again, this is our Sharks One Pocket Showdown. This is only the second time I've actually covered this One Pocket event. First time, of course, featuring these two gentlemen. Six years ago, almost six years ago, December of 2015. Although this game has been around for decades. You know, what you said because you asked here Romel Salvador. Sabi niya, bagong laro ba to? No. Or tagal na laro nga nila yeah, laro ito? It's been a while. Actually, Efren explained that the first time he actually got exposed to One Pocket was in 1986. Tagal na. During the interview. Uh, he, was, he was telling us a story earlier that he was, uh, 
He went to the United States in 1985 and beat everybody in nine ball. Then when he came back in 86, nobody wanted to play him in nine ball anymore. So they said, let's just do one pocket. And it was a new sport to him at the time, one pocket in 1986, that he practiced, went back to the United States and killed everyone. <laughs> Yes, Henry John, this is a race to 12. This is day one. Yeah. And tomorrow will be day two. Yeah. So more one pocket heading your way tomorrow as well. So again, Efren taking the left pocket. Django taking the right. Efren trying to pot the five ball. Django, t Django now sees two threats over that side, the seven and the three. Let's see if he can knock both of them out in one shot. Knocks the three over to his side, almost made it too. Efren's got a bank shot now on the 12, it appears. Let's see if he takes it on or just... Uh, Continue to play defense. Now he's looking at the pile. He's looking beyond his next two shots, it appears. Because if he does take on the bank shot on the 12, he could have the 10 and the 7 as well. But then after that, what's next? He's still looking at the pile right now. Also thinking about what Django's thinking about. That's the beauty of this game as well. So Efren's not going to take the bank. That was a foul, though. Yeah, dito mama tumpato. So Efren now at minus one. Django might see enough of the seven ball. Let's see if he decides to take it on into the 15. Oh, he sees enough of the seven to pot it. Wow. Right. Nicely done. Nice shot. Now he's got a shot on the 15. Perhaps even the two ball. If he comes around to it. No, he just plays the stop ball there for the two. Now he can come up table and try to get the five as well. Looks like the 813 is on. So he's going to try the 813. There it is. Open it up. And this is all offense now for Django. Yeah. At this point. Needs four to win. At one shot. Point. Yeah, one shot. Just took everything out. Yeah, at this point, it's safe to say. Oh, come on. Look at this. Oh, come on, AJ. Oh, you did not just do clear that. Clear shot at everything. You, just, you did not just do that to Django Bustamante. Clear shot at everything. Is he going to get there for the 4-8? Four 4-8 eight? Four eight combination, yeah. Two away. Yes, One away. See, now he's perfect at the nine. <laughs> To close day one. Francisco Bustamante yeah. has taken a 6-5 to five lead heading into day two of our Sharks One Pocket Showdown. This has been entertaining. We do have a few kinks to, to iron out. But this has been some kind of a, a spectacle. I mean, in terms of us commentating, in terms of the viewers from the Philippines watching it for the first time, One Pocket is one of the most interesting, if not the most... Uh, purely scientific version 
of Pocket Billiards. So our young lady there, Angel. Confirming our score. Confirming our score, yeah. it is. Francisco Bustamante taking a 6-5 to five lead as we end the hostilities for day number one between Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante. And thank you once again for joining us for this uh, special presentation of Sharks, Bugsy Promotion, and of course, thank you to our friends from Puyat Sports. And of course, we would like to thank Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Kubao, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kilohertz. Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, De Adista and Limadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Billiard Planet, Hard Times, and Ropa Commercial. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, join us again for the conclusion of this two-day saga between Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante. This is the Sharks One Pocket Showdown for AJ Ong. My name is Noel Zarate. Join us again at 3 p.m. Philippine time tomorrow as we conclude who will win in the inaugural Sharks One Pocket Showdown.